Let's continue on in our Moto Master Class. Um, this, we're going to continue with our bracing exercises. So we're just going to build a simple hinge here to demonstrate this and continue building up our experience in how to brace an item. So I'm going to go in here and pick my tube. And I'm going to draw a tube out here with the sides of 10. Segments 1. And I'm going to have it be 2.3 meters all the way around. Like that. And then I'm going to bring it out. Like so. If you're wondering why it looks so funny, it's because I have my reflections turned on, and I'll turn that off in a second. So don't freak. Okay, so now I'll go back up here. And there we go. So now we have this tube here. So let's get to work on this. So spacebar to drop the tool. I'm going to go to polygon mode. Select this polygon. Shift select this polygon. And I'm going to delete those. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the thicken tool under my basic tab. Thicken. Okay. And I'm going to use the blue handle and pull out on it like this and thicken it up a little bit. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now we've got this cool little tube. Okay. So now what we want to do is, let's see how many edges we got here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's hit the E key to rotate this and let's rotate it around to where it's straight up and down like that. And now we have these two flat spots here on the bottom. See, we've got two places on the bottom here. And I can grab these polygons, hit the X key, click to activate it, and I can extrude these straight down like this. Okay, spacebar, drop the tool. Let's go to our quad view. Okay, let's go to our vert mode. I'm going to select these three verts. I'll go around to the other side. I'm going to select these three verts, hit the R key for scale, and I'm going to pull it down. And if you notice, everything will even up. Okay, spacebar, R key to reactivate it, pull down again. Now we go back. You notice our, we got our flat bottom now. Okay, so let's go back to polygon mode. Let's grab this polygon, this polygon, okay and we're going to use the shift command it's under polygon so hit the shift command click to activate it and let's slide our handles out here extrude this like this okay now we got the beginnings of a hinge so now let's go ahead if we tab it and go into sub d it looks kind of funky so let's go ahead and start bracing this up so the first thing we're going to do is go into mesh edit loop slice. I'm going to make my count of two mode symmetry. Okay, so I'm going to go in the inside here, select these, select my loop slice, click, and I'm going to bring them in close to the edge there. Like that. Turn. Then I'm going to take this, these polygons here, run a loop slice around that. Spacebar, drop the tool, click to deselect. Let's go around to the other side. Now let's select this this loop and run the loop slice again on that side. Okay, now we go to sub D mode. Our circle's holding a little bit, but it still needs some work. So let's go ahead and run our loop slice up this way. And we'll put them close to the edge like this. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now we're starting to hold things a little bit better, so let's continue bracing our item. Okay, so let's go in here and let's brace right along through here. I'm going to say loop slice mode free count of one. And I'm going to park this sucker right up against this line here. Spacebar drop the tool. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Park it right up against there because that'll brace the inside here, like so. Okay, now let's make a loop. Let's do it here, which will brace this inside, bottom side here. We'll run the loop slice. We'll get it cl fairly close there. 
spacebar to drop the tool. Now let's go over here and do this sign. Put it right up against the edge here. Okay, spacebar drop the tool. I should have run symmetry and I didn't, so let's do it one more time and put one on this edge. And we'll run one this time and put one on this edge down here. Now, as you can see, we've got everything braced pretty good. It looks like we need one more along the bottom here. So we'll run a loop slice around the bottom like that. Next part, drop a tool. Now when I go into sub D mode, we're kind of holding our shape a lot better. Okay. So now, this is up to you what you want to do from here. Okay, you can go in and edit your meshes if you like by going in here and adding another loop slice. If you think it's going to help tighten things up a little bit, you know. Like that. Let's add one on this side. Okay, now it looks like we're kind of part of this here. Okay, let's go back into polygon mode and see if there's anywhere else we can run some loops. And let's see here. Let's run one right down the side here like this. This loop slice here, and I'll take it right close to the edge. And we'll do the other thing on the, the same thing on this side. Take it right down close to the edge there. Now you can see we're holding our geometry a lot better. Okay. So now let's go in here and add a couple little points of detail. I'm going to run a loop slice right here, count of two, mode symmetry. As you can see, that'll run it right down the middle there on both sides. That looks good. Now I'm going to select this edge. Okay. I'm going to go to my edge tab, select slide, and make sure duplicate is selected. Now I'm going to click and drag. And you can see that's going to duplicate that edge there. Spacebar drop the tool. We'll select it again. Do our slide command. And we'll slide it the other way. Now we have this little setup. Let's do this side the same way by activating slide. Making sure your duplicate for the slide is on. And click and drag. And now we have this line. So now let's put a little crease in here like hinges so often do. We'll select this edge and this edge and I'm going to take my up arrow and select on around like that. Okay. I want to do the same thing here. Like that. Now you can see we've got the loops on just the top selected here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is hit the R key to scale. And I'm going to scale it in on the green handle. Like that. Now it gives us some creases in there. So now we can go in here, go to our vert mode, select this vert, and we can adjust it. We can pull it down, make it straight again. Okay. Let's do that for all these. So I'll select this one, twirl around here. Shift select this one, and shift select this one, hit the W, and we'll take them all down at the same time. Okay, now when I go into sub D mode, you can see what we got here. We got these little creases like a hinge has. Okay, let's go into our OpenGL mode. Now you can see what we got going on here. We got these cool little creases. Let's go back to polygon mode and let's run a few more loop slices right through here so we can build some bolts. So I'm going to select loop slice, count of one, mode free. And I'll put it right about there. And I'll run the same thing on this side. We'll put it right about there. Now we have these squares on the end, okay? So let's go to polygon mode, select this one this one, 
this one, this one. Hit the B key to bevel them. Click to activate it, and let's bevel these in like so. Okay. Now let's select the polygons up through here and run a loop slice. Count of one mode free position 50%. And that'll run a cut right up the middle of those crosses there. And I'm going to run one this way too. Loop slice. And when I do that, you'll see that gives us an X right in the middle here. Now I can go into vert mode. Hit the R key to scale. And I can scale these out. And I can select this vert and this vert. Hit the R key and I can scale these out. As you can see, that rounds off. our corners there 